Hey there, pirates. Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. Shanks and Teach have a rather mysterious rivalry. Both pirates carry a mysterious past and significant hidden objectives that are crucial for the development of the One Piece story. In today's video, we will explore this rivalry further, discussing the reasons why Teach, despite being extremely powerful, has not yet gone after Shanks to take his life. I hope for your support to help our crew win, and to do so, you just need to click the thumbs up button, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. By doing this, you will win an incredible devil fruit. So just comment which fruit you want. <laughs> Folks, there is a long history behind the relationship between two pirates in the world of One Piece, namely Shanks and Marshall D. Teach. From their childhood days, these two iconic characters have been on a path of constant conflict, giving rise to a rivalry that would endure over the years. Shanks and Teach grew up in very different contexts, but they both shared a common passion for the sea and the quest for freedom. Shanks, a member of the crew of the legendary pirate Gold D. Roger, showed talent and skill from an early age, while Teach, still known as Marshall D. Teach, sailed the seas as part of Newgate's crew. Fate brought these two pirates together when their crews crossed paths amid conflicts and battles in the Grand Line. From the moment Shanks and Teach first clashed, it was clear that there was something beyond mere hostility. As time went by, Shanks and Teach continued to encounter each other at different points in the Grand Line, each meeting marked by intense confrontations and elaborate strategies. Their battles were not just physical, but also mental, each trying to outsmart the other in cunning and tactical skill. The rivalry between Shanks and Teach reached its peak when both became captains of their own crews. Shanks, the leader of the red-haired pirates, and Teach, who currently commands the world's most dangerous crew, do not fight even though they are enemies. However, despite the rivalry, there is a layer of complexity to this relationship. Both pirates share a unique understanding of each other. In his conversation with Whitebeard, Shanks shared a surprising truth about the origin of his iconic scar. <laughs> Contrary to what many might speculate, Shanks clarified that the mark was not the result of a mistake on his part, but rather a demonstration of the power that Marshal D. Teach, Blackbeard, possessed at the time. The scar over Shanks' left eye has become an iconic and enigmatic mark on his figure. By admitting that this scar was inflicted by Blackbeard, Shanks revealed an aspect of the enmity between the two pirates. After all, this mark, far from being just physical, symbolized that even though there was someone who represented the opposite of what Shanks stood for, Shanks Shanks still did not personally try to stop him. The fact that Shanks recognizes that he was not the victim of a simple mistake, but rather a test of strength and determination by Blackbeard gave us the first glimpse of the danger of that enemy. Or rather, the scar became a symbol not only of the rivalry between Shanks and Blackbeard, but also of an understanding that Teach was a threat to his life, making Shanks realize the great danger Teach represents to the world and prompting him to prepare to face this powerful enemy. This revelation serves as a constant reminder that in the world of One Piece, the relationships between pirates are often shaped by much more than mere physical confrontations. The current silence between Shanks and Blackbeard, they avoided revealing too much, maintaining a facade of adversaries while behind the scenes sharing a mutual understanding of their enemy's objectives, trying their best to sabotage each other so that their plans are not fulfilled. What they both know about each other could have significant consequences for the world of pirates, and the resulting tension creates an atmosphere of constant anticipation. Regarding the considerable increase in power of Marshal D. Teach, who now boasts not one, but two devil fruits, and commands a vast and formidable crew under the Blackbeard flag, his reluctance to confront Shanks reveals that he is still wary of Shanks' powers. Teach, even though he has become stronger and is confident in his growing influence in the pirate world, does not underestimate Shanks. He recognizes the sharp intelligence and calculating strategic skill of the red-haired pirate. He knows that facing Shanks without a carefully crafted strategy would be an extremely dangerous risk, even for someone as powerful as himself. After all, we know that the story of the scar left by Blackbeard on Shanks raises a question. After all, it happened before the Battle of Marineford, and there we saw that Teach did not seem to be someone strong enough to do that to Shanks. And now, we know that Shanks appears to be the person with the greatest conqueror's hockey alive. And at Marineford, we wonder if Teach was able to wound Shanks, why did he run away from him at Marineford? The first battle between the two must have shown Teach that even though he was able to wound Shanks, he would not be able to defeat him. <laughs> Teach. Yeah. 
After all, this event served as a constant reminder to Teach of the need to approach his conflicts with Shanks with extreme caution. Blackbeard's reluctance to face Shanks head-on evidenced not only mutual respect, but also a pragmatic understanding of the situation. Even with all the power he had accumulated, Blackbeard recognizes that Shanks is not an adversary to be underestimated. Shanks, with his charismatic presence and exceptional abilities, represented a challenge that could not be faced hastily. Blackbeard's stance seems to be guided by strategic insight, patiently waiting for the ideal moment to act. He understood that to overcome Shanks, more than just brute force would be necessary. It would be crucial to employ an elaborate strategy that took advantage of his opponent's weaknesses and maximized his own strengths, thereby gaining a greater advantage in the fight. As Blackbeard's notoriety grows, he knows that facing Shanks without a solid strategy would be risky, regardless of his two devil fruits and the vastness of his crew. Shanks, with his reputation as a respected leader and skilled strategist, is capable of reading complex situations and responding with agility. Blackbeard's patient wait suggests a deep understanding that time was on his side while he fortifies his power, closely watching Shanks' movements and waiting for the right moment to act. This stance not only demonstrated strategic wisdom, but also a conscious respect for the threat represented by Shanks. The story of One Piece, full of nuances and twists, continued to weave the intertwined fates of Shanks and Blackbeard. Blackbeard's reluctance to hastily provoke a direct confrontation suggests not only a practical understanding of his opponent's strength, but also a willingness to wait for the ideal moment to unleash a battle that would undoubtedly reverberate across the seas and mark the next phase of this epic pirate saga. <laughs> That was today's content. We hope you liked it and want to share your opinion on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay amazing.